I want to introduce uh, Brent and Tom. Thanks for being on the show uh, today. Yeah, thanks for having us, Blake. Now, uh, Brent, can you just give a quick uh, summary of what our loop is? Um, and yeah, take it away. <laughs> sure, our loop is a uh, we're a open source online collaborative design and development team. Uh, we sort of got our roots uh, from uh, the SpaceX subreddit on Reddit. And uh, when the competition was announced, we thought, you know, we have the uh, shared expertise to make this a reality. So uh, we formed a group and it snowballed like crazy. And we've got some amazing members, uh, especially including Tom here, our lead engineer. Yeah. And Tom, how, how early in the process did you hear about our loop or were you already kind of following everything? I, uh, I heard about it in the very beginning, actually. I saw the initial post on Reddit mm -hmm. where a guy in the SpaceX subreddit said, hey, let's uh, create a team for the Hyperloop. And I was like, hey, come me in. So I, I, saw, I followed it since the very beginning when the whole thing started to organize, when people started to create the website. It was still called Reddit Loop by, back right. then. right. And we, uh, people created a website. People uh, started to create kind of an organigram of how the whole R loop, Reddit loop should be structured. And people started to apply. People from Reddit started to apply, putting like resumes saying, hey, I'd like to do this job, this job. And I think I was number 14 on the list of people. That, you know, there was like a list of who joined when. I was number 14 in the thing. And uh, yeah, I applied for the, the, um, the engineering lead uh, team and they, mm -hmm. they uh, so they, they accepted me and, you know, I've been rolling around uh, so okay. far uh, until now. I think, well, I was, uh, I think I was number 28 on that initial sign-up list. So <laughs> Tom beat me to the punch. <laughs> awesome. Just a couple of minutes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well you got to be quick when you're dealing with the Hyperloop. Um, so, so basically, I want to pretend as if we're in the Hyperloop right now and uh, we're going somewhere. Um, and, you know, I, I guess... Uh, Brent, you know, what, what cities would you like to be connected uh, right now and as if you're in a Hyperloop right now? <laughs> sure. Um, well, I'm uh, currently in Toronto, Canada. Um, uh, you know, we've got a pretty big country up here that's um, our major cities are well spread out. I think uh, uh, having a Hyperloop to connect our major economic hubs would be uh, very beneficial. Mm -hmm. Me personally... East Coast, heading to the East Coast from Toronto uh, to Montreal, yep. um, not only because uh, there's a lot of business that occurs between Toronto and Montreal, but mm -hmm. because I have family in Montreal. Cool. And yeah. rather than it being a six-hour drive, it would be nice to take a 20-minute Hyperloop trip. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> that would be really nice. And, and uh, Tom, how about you? What cities would you like to see connected? So I'm going to be very... Um very, how you say, usual uh, with the San Francisco to Los Angeles. The reason for that is I live in the Silicon Valley. Yep. And uh, my motivation behind that is there is a lot of, I'm an aerospace engineer. There is a lot of aerospace stuff in Los Angeles. But I really mm. like the Silicon Valley area to live in. Oh, yeah, and yeah. I would love to be able to like commute every day, just sit in the Hyperloop, you know, get my fancy cocktail or Belgian beer in the Hyperloop <laughs> and just, you know, well, not, maybe not in the morning to go to work, but on the way back. Yep. Uh, uh, and just, you know, go, go to work in there, like use it every day as you would use a train. Yeah. Um, that, that'd be great. I see, I saw my girlfriend lives on the East Coast. Oh. She lives in New York. Oh. And, you know, every, every month I have, I mean, every month and a half, we are traveling back and forth. And I, each time it's like a five-hour uh, uh, plane ride. And, you know, the plane is okay. I'm used to riding a plane. It's more like going to the airport and all the thing and all the stuff. I would just want to be able to just sit in the thing and just go fast to over there, you know, or just meet meet yeah. halfway somewhere easily or just, yeah. you know, it's easier okay. than the way it is with plane right now. Totally. And I'm, I'm from Colorado, so you can meet in Colorado. It's halfway almost. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> also, uh, up here, we would only serve Canadian beer. Uh, oh, that's... Uh, uh, so you know going back you know what so i guess we kind of got into like why you would choose the hyperloop uh right now is do you, brent do you have any other things why would you choose the hyperloop uh today 
uh, well, compared to um, transportation methods of, of the past, yep. uh, we're talking about a much more uh, effective, uh, much more economical, and uh, much more sustainable mm-hmm. method of transportation that is just, you know, it makes you feel like this is the future. This is what we were promised that mm-hmm. 2016 would be, you know? Oh, uh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I totally agree. I have to add to that. You know, it's it's like, this really feels 21st century, you know? If you look at a lot of stuff we've been uh, developing, stuff we're using, even for rocket, I won't get into that subject, but, you know, it's very old, like 40, 60-year-old technology. It's very mature, it's safe and all, but you always envision the 21st century as the year where you revolutionize everything, right? And I'm a big fan of like Futurama and stuff, and I always <laughs> love people traveling in tubes. Uh, right now, I'm watching the show The Expanse, and they have those subway system. It really looks like the Hyperloop, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh man, that's 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 very cool to be working on it. And like Hyperloop feels like really 21st century for sure. Mm-hmm. Totally. Um, yeah, I mean, I I really enjoy <laughs> all those shows too. Um, <laughs> And can you think of any other ways or the Hyperloop will change your routine? Um, I mean, since it's not built yet, it's, you know, expect the unexpected for how it will change society. But can you think of any other ways it can change routines in the future? We always uh, say, or within the team, it's, it's common to say, you know, now all of a sudden you can, you can live anywhere you want. Mm -hmm. Uh, Like the shift, the, the opening of labor markets, Mm-hmm. Um, you can work anywhere you want. Uh, you can be anywhere that you want to be. So we're, you know, mm-hmm. even just tourism aspect as well. Um, mm-hmm. but I think another large portion, I mean, instantly the mind goes to, uh, personal transportation, but, mm-hmm. and there has been a lot of talk about it as well, but cargo is going to be a big, um, yeah. it's going to be largely influenced by the Hyperloop. Certainly, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I, I follow uh, a lot of the different companies, and yes, they are focusing on cargo. Um, yeah, well, that would probably be the first applications. Yeah. Ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> I wanted to be the first. <laughs> um, anyway, well, thank you so much. I guess we've arrived at our destination. <laughs> it's a quick trip. It's it was a quick, quick trip. Yeah, I know, right? I guess we went from like, Tallinn, Estonia to Helsinki, Finland in seven minutes. <laughs> or so, I don't know. I don't know where else we'll take seven minutes. Well, um, after this, I'm hopping down to the Mediterranean then. Awesome. Yeah. It's only 20 minutes. Exactly. <laughs> so, I don't exactly. know. I'm not an engineer. Um, thank you so much, both of you. Um, oh, one more thing. Any, any way anybody can, or how can people support our loop? Um, is there a specific you, way? Yeah. You can support in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, there is well, you can just contribute with money, but that's like the easy way. That's way too easy. So yeah. what we would prefer you guys to do is actually just go on ourloop.org and join. Just join the team. Everybody can join. We don't need. We need engineers and stuff. But not only that, we need people with like. PR uh, uh, experience, people with IT experience, mm. people with just with crazy ID. We need artists. We need everybody that can help us to to create that thing. So just join alu.org and just join the team. We have a lot of cool tools, um, a lot of great people able to either mentor you or just you know mm. blend uh, with them. So that would be the best way to help us. Yeah, we want to democratize the hyperloop. We want to make it accessible to everybody. So. Uh, rloop.org, Facebook, our loop team, Twitter, our loop team, and YouTube, our loop team. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, guys, for, for joining today. Um, thank you. Yes. Yep. All right.